Alright, what's up everybody? It's a uh, special guest to the tutorial channel, as you all can see. Uh, I'm Naruto Nick. You pr may, may not have heard of me, but I'll be doing a tutorial here for you guys today. Somebody made a comment to the channel a while ago asking that we could make a video that would like, you know, what can you edit in 10 minutes? Alright, so I thought, yeah, I want to just do that. I'll just show people how I edit in like 10 minutes. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so... I already have some footage laid out. And just for the sake of time. And I'll be showing you guys what to do. Or, I'll just kind of edit and I'll teach you along the way. So first of all, you know, I already have my stuff imported and stuff some stuff laid out on my track ready to go and I'll play it just so you guys can see what it looks like look kinda like crap it's not that bad but it really doesn't look good at all it needs a lot of improving so let's get to work alright you wanna maintain aspect ratio on all these suckers here let me speed this up alright looks good now that, oh, that doesn't look that good. Well, it doesn't matter. It's in 640 by 480, so when it's on YouTube, it'll look nice. All right, so let's begin. Um, we have our first scene here. It doesn't look too bad. It's just a basic scene. In fact, you know, I think I'm just going to leave this as is, because some scenes are just good raw. And you don't need special effects. All right, this scene, yet another good scene that's actually like, pretty basically, you know, it's basically already in there. When I when I do an action scene, I like to shave off just one second before the action hits, and then yeah, so it's like right before it hits, and bam, it's like really shows the action. And so I guess we'll just leave that one blank too. All right, that looks really boring. So let's fix this sucker up. All right, so you go into your event pan crop, and this is like another part of the tutorial. I guess I'll be redoing event pan crop, my style. And so, I don't know, I have some mess up codec, so I can't see shit. Um, so let's zoom in all the way. Go about four frames. Zoom out. Two more frames, zoom out. Go to the end. That looks a lot better. Now let's add some radial blur to make it just oh so much nicer. I, I don't know. I randomly keyframe this every time, so don't ask me for numbers. <laughs> Looks a lot nice, much smoother. All right, so now next we want to do like an eye mask. I want to. This is the new eye mask I wanted to improve upon on Chris's, because his look kind of uh, bad, for lack of a better term. What's more is this. This image is moving though, so that's a bitch. So let's go back to another old tutorial you guys already learned velocity so right click set to zero and look it doesn't move all right so now let's go to mask hit this to negative let's uh, put this on top Put the one that's the negative of the eye on top. And so now, uh, let's cut this a little bit. Yeah, that still looks like shit. So, zoom in. Zoop. Until you're just... About... I want it to get center because it just looks a lot nicer. And so, three frames. Zoom out. Two more, zoom out. Oops. Oops. No, 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 I don't want to do that. There we go. Then you want to go to mask, change this to positive, 
game and this fades in. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, next. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this looks a little messy. What was, okay, I was going for more of a fade. Three fade. Oh, much better. Easy. Nicely done. Now that just looks sloppy. So, alright, this is one of my favorite things to do in editing. Uh, you go into a pan crop. Bring the box just about all. Uh, that's good. Bring it to corner. And move this one frame out because we're going to be fading in. Uh, put it to about four. Restore. Yeah, so I do like two points for my zooms because they look so much nicer. And this kind of looks bad, but. Notice it's like kind of a scene that you could oh zoom into. So here's what we're gonna go back into here. Scroll back one, two, three. Go there. And after this, zoom in all the way here. Let's see, then add a radial blur. Make it really big at the big end, area at the end. Move it up here so it looks nice coming out and goes back in already. Bam! Add a radial blur here. Scroll that out. Scroll that up. Zoom this in a bit. Add some shakes to make it look nice. Alright, and I guess you really want to make shit nice. Oh, I'm blurring this out. I don't want you guys seeing how I do my special flashes. That's that's one thing I'm not teaching you guys today. It's flashes. Because um, you should know how to do that. And these are mine. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm blurring that out because I'm a bitch. Oh, right. Um, looking back, I kind of messed up. <laughs> I meant to uh, add a radial blur here. Alright, I don't know. My mouse is freaking the fuck out, so... I'm not going to replay this for you. Uh, I'll add a video I'll add it at the end like twice or something so you all can see it. Um, I hope this tutorial helps. If you need something more, to, to, I don't know. This wasn't very clear. Just, I don't know, shoot me an inbox. My link's in the description. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching Super AMV Tutorials, and hopefully we'll have more from you soon. Or maybe even me, because I guess I'm new. I'm the new kid in town. See everybody.